Hey guys, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how to make a PowerPoint presentation from your R Studio. So there are a lot of tutorials available for this um, on YouTube if you search for this particular thing. But the reason I decided to do another video is because all those videos are almost like three, four years old, and um, those methodologies are still applicable, but um, those are complicated. Uh, R Studio, um, I think, uh, quite some time back, probably like six. Six seven months back, uh, introduced a very easy way for you to do that. So let's get straight uh, into it and then see how to do it. Uh, first, um, you open your R Studio, and uh, if you have a project, keep the project open. Um, I hope you got some time to watch uh, the other video that I put the other day, which is about um, understanding your Android smartphone usage. So I've got the same project folder. So I'm going to go to File, New File, R Markdown. So this is going to be an R Markdown. But um, when we render the R markdown, it's going to be a PowerPoint. Um, the caveat here is that you need to have Microsoft PowerPoint or OpenOffice for this uh, previewing thing to happen. So let me call it um, simple PowerPoint. Uh, I don't know why it's simple, but yeah, let's let's call it simple. So you can see that at this point, there is a NAR markdown and then the output format is PowerPoint presentation. And you can see a bunch of things. So let's first go ahead and see like what what, what is the output that we are going to get. So first step is you have to save it. Um, we'll call it simple PowerPoint. And uh, once you knit it, let's see what comes out of it. It's uh, the knitting is in process. You can see that uh, it has created a simple PowerPoint um, with uh, nothing like slides like this. Then you have bullet information. Then you have uh, output that you can edit see you can say mean means whatever you want and you have plot okay so i think like the this, this video should probably end at this point but let's look at a few extra customization that what we can do so the first most important thing that you have to understand is um why do you need this thing so i don't know uh, about you but if you um uh, if you are from a, a SaaS world in SaaS, you would have probably come across something called ODS, uh, and um, that uh, graphic system is something that is why a lot of companies used to use SaaS, and uh, SaaS made it much, much easier for uh, those reporting analytics reports to be churned out in a given time period. So that, that was one key uh, thing um, that you can probably leverage using this particular facility. Now you can create an automated report. Let's say probably our, your team has a um, uh, resource uh, who has to do a bunch of thing in Excel, Microsoft Excel, and then finally put it, um, put a PowerPoint together. Uh, so that, that could be completely simply easily done with this thing. So that is the first main thing. And then the second main thing is a lot of times when you actually make um, a project presentation or let's say at the end of your analysis, uh, unless until you have got machine learning models, you're probably going to let's say put it in production or something. But if you're going to do uh, mostly like uh, landscape analysis, exploratory data analysis, EDS, then uh, you are going to mostly end up making a PowerPoint presentation. So rather than, you know, copying, pasting and putting all, all those things um, together, you can simply use this option to reduce your time. So to start with, we'll, we'll just do a very small um, uh, sample uh, and then we'll see how to do that. So for the, the, the first thing is, um, we'll call the title. Title is, let's say, empty cars analysis. I don't know why empty cars, um, but yeah, empty cars analysis. And um, the first, um, we'll say, okay, empty cars. Uh, this is a beautiful slide. Um, I know a lot of uh, people actually like, um, uh, hate Microsoft PowerPoint approach. First one is, um, we are going to look at the libraries and uh, meta information and then uh, finally some uh, eda okay and we are going to remove all this and uh, say okay what do we want okay so the first thing is we, are, we we said uh libraries loading the libraries and then we are going to say oh, the libraries that we want um uh, in this case we want to use um, probably only tidyverse uh, that's that's the only thing i'm going to use and it will also evaluate if you don't uh, uh, when you when you see uh, tidyverse uh, getting evaluated you would see a lot of warnings all those things if you don't want those things to happen you can simply say warning false also if you don't want any information okay sorry messages 
false. Okay, that is done. Let's uh, let's just uh, execute our chunk. I just want this video to be quite quick and fast. Uh, the next meta information that we want is glimpse of uh, empty cars. Okay, what do we have? Uh, we have some information in it. Mm, the next thing is we said we'll do some EDA. Some EDAs. Okay. And at this point, uh, we can see, okay, we will say mm, this. This is the most critical part. Mm, and what, what we want to do, let's... Uh, Let's have a look at empty cars once to see. Um, we are going to um, let's say let, let us uh, let's say that we want to do a relationship between um, weight and uh, MPG. Let's do that. Weight oh HP and MPG. Let's do that. Okay, so we are going to call this plot um, correlation. Let's say in this case, um, GG plot of empty cars plus geom um, we want um, point AES your x is uh, mpg and your y is uh, hp and uh, if we make the plot uh, that plot is done the uh, you can actually see so let's put a theme in it sorry and uh, theme minimal and save it render it and at this point you can see got empty cars analysis empty cars um, approach uh, the library details the most critical part because the plot is slightly bigger so it has gone down to the next level so the other thing is that you want to test is um, within this case let's knit again then uh, let's see what happens Okay, so you have empty cars, and uh, you can see the title. Um, so the title is not available. So you you can see uh, how these things get changed. Um, the documentation you can look up to it. Uh, but uh, if you want to make presentation, this is like the easiest way. Then once you have that slides in place, let's say you have got an organization theme template. Um, the easiest way is uh, you can now copy paste this content, all the slides directly uh, to a different um, template so that way it is quite simple i think uh, we will just keep this uh, like very smaller video the idea we want to explore is uh, how to create powerpoint slides using r studio from um, just basically r markdown so i hope uh, this was helpful and um, if you have any comments please let me know uh, i'll uh, see in the next video but um, yeah just before that um, there is a very nice package officer if you want a lot of customization officer this this is the package that um, you should probably look for so we'll probably have a video on it um, but if you want a very simple presentation uh, you can just repeat what we did see you take care bye bye